Kevin Costner was homeless after his first divorce. Costner has now gone through two divorces. Both were kind of messy. The first one was one of the most expensive ever. It left Kevin Costner homeless. He met Cindy Silva in 1975. The two were attending California State University, Fullerton. Kevin was immediately enamored. He introduced Cindy to his parents on their first date. She has a presence, Kevin said in 1989. She was beautiful. She was sweet. She was smarter than me. She represented everything about women that I like. They married in 1978. Kevin worked in construction, but he already had big plans. Cindy always supported him. John McInnes, a family friend, once revealed, Cindy took my wife aside once and said, you know, Kevin and I are part of the 1% that is going to make it. They didn't make it. Kevin Costner became a 1980s heartthrob, but Cindy was growing increasingly uncomfortable. Kevin told his friend, Cindy doesn't like these sexy roles, and she's given me an ultimatum. I've either got to quit doing them, or quit the movie business. Rumors of Kevin's infidelity weren't helping. I have a big thirst. He admitted in 1987. A big taste for things. I hate the fact that I've lived by somebody else's rules, and I've somehow missed out on something. The temptations are pretty strong. In 1994, Kevin and Cindy's marriage came to an end. He had to pay her a staggering $80 million. They also divided their assets, hiking the price higher. Kevin found himself without a home base. He was unable to live in his own home. This detail actually came to light during his second divorce. Kevin married Christine Baumgartner in 2004. This time, he wanted an ironclad prenup. The document specifically mentions their shared home. Christine would have to vacate it within 30 days. I made it clear to her that I would not marry again without clarity that my separate property residences would remain mine to live in. For almost 20 years, this clause remained a hypothetical. But in May 2023, Christine filed for divorce. Reportedly, Kevin was caught off guard. He didn't want to divorce Christine. There was no cheating scandal this time. But Christine wanted to leave without moving out. Kevin bought an oceanfront estate in Carpinteria, California, back in 1988. He also scooped up the adjacent property. The estate is nearly 5,000 square feet. In 2022, he took out a $3 million loan for renovations. When the divorce filing came, Kevin was at a loss. He gave Christine nearly $1.8 million for a new home. He agreed to pay $45,000 a month in temporary child support. But Christine demanded $248,000 a month. She refused to move out of their $145 million mansion. Kevin wants me to rent a place without a financial plan in place. However, I have our three children to think about. Christine subsequently lowered her demands. She asked for $175,000 per month, but the judge ordered Kevin to pay $63,000 per month. The divorce was finally settled. In September 2023, Christine moved out, and Kevin got to keep his mansion. He immediately started dating Jewel. Christine has been seen with financier Josh Connor. It seems everyone has moved on.